I know I gave it months ago. I know you're trying to forget. I know I gave it, 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 this is the blanket that I got from my bridal shower, y'all. It says Mr. and Mrs. But anyway, we're here at the Regal Cinema 16, where the seats go back. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> we ordered our um, tickets online already, so we don't have to go in and order anything. But the movie actually started at 3.30, and it's like 3.50 now. So we're super, super, super late. But that's fine because all we get to do is just walk in and go into our theater and watch the movie. What are our seat numbers? Auditorium 6, you guys. G4 and G5. Thank you, Mr. Beecher. You're such a gentleman. Anybody moves, you shoot. You understand? We're dealing with a different animal here, boys. Hey, pay attention. This is yours. Most important thing, keep your finger off the trigger at all times, unless you need to shoot somebody. When that happens. 3170, we're being held up. Hold it until you run dry. Dispatch, we are under heavy fire. Keep your eyes open. Every cop in the country is gonna be looking for us. Big Nick, original gangster cop in the flesh. What's your tally? Four dead, six on the way to the hospital. I tell you, he's a bad guy. I'm gonna make you a deal. Give me the names of all the guys that got away. I'll get your medic. I ain't no snitch. Yo. He's done, son. We got a problem. It's major crime. Get to know your enemy, boys. Every big time crew has been busted. These are the guys who took him down. Gang bangers, these are not. Whoever it is, they're addicted to heists. Anybody moves, you shoot them. You understand? Sooner or later, they'll need their fix. You could? Yeah, man. We're good. Save the plans. We're trading up. The Federal Reserve. It's like Fort Knox. At any one time, there's anywhere between 500 and 800 billion dollars in there. Every millimeter of it covered by cameras, sensors, and motion detectors. Stand across the street and stare at the building for two minutes. You have security on your ass. Only bank that's never been robbed. That's why we're gonna rob it. Every time I'm in the street, I hear ya, 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 ya. Man down. Where you from? You gotta move. Where you go? Where you from? Where you down, Marstay? I'm mine. This man saved me. Do you know what this means? It means I am a member of a gang. Only we have badges. Which means you are done. I'm one of us. Do you look like the types who arrest you? No one could see down. Put you in handcuffs, drag you down to the station. We just shoot you. Boom. You're not the bad guys. We are. Hey y'all, so we just left the movie and it was a pretty good movie. At first I wasn't for it. I was kind of like, I'd rather be doing something else. Yeah, rather be doing something else, but. <laughs> ah! Misha got mad at me. Vicha got upset because I was like, can I just like read on, you know, catch up on some of my units or whatever, and he got upset. Thank you, Mr. Beachy. You're such a sweetheart. Open the door for me, guys. Thank you. What the? F <laughs> my highlight, though. Don't worry about my bumps, okay? Because I'm I'm trying to get these cleared up. It's really really hard. I feel like ever since those gnats, I had some gnats like bite me in the face some years ago. Ever since then, and I've never broken out, never gotten pimples, never none of that. I've always had clear skin. Ever since that day. So yeah. So where are you taking me, babe? To your mama house. I like our shirts. It's Space Jam. See? Space Jam. We got Donald Duck. We got Tasmanian Devil. We got Bunny Rabbit. We no got Devil on here. Tasmanian. We we'll call it. And we Taz. got the cat. I don't know their names. Sylvester and the cat. Sylvester, Sylvester the cat. And then everybody else. Wow. 
I thought you I better saw be careful because that. there's a cop that's driving around this parking lot, and the last thing we need right now is a ticket. After so drive Den like Thieves? you got some sense. After no. watching Den of Thieves? Drive like you got some sense, please and thank you. But yeah, we going to Cheddar's. So I'm gonna see y'all when we get to Cheddar's. I'm about to go on Snap. Apparently we're going to Walgreens. We're going to Walgreens. No. Yeah, I'm just gonna run inside and see what kind of action figures they got up, up in there. Just real quick. Really, babe? Yeah, it's just a quick action figure pit stop. Ain't nothing. You know, I'll be in and out in like two minutes. Look at this foolishness. Look at him. Follow me on Snapchat. Huh? Where is it? I don't know if you guys will be able to scan this. Will it let you scan it? <laughs> Pause the video, guys, and scan my Snap. Follow me on Snapchat. Yes, my phone is dying. It's on 24%. <laughs> Did you find anything? Yeah, they got stuff on sale, but I ain't trying to waste my money on that. It's a new set that comes out next week, y'all. Shut up. Shut up. Hell no, nah, I'm going to be putting on waiting on this bit of hell. To the no, I'm gonna, hell no, nah, I'm going to put a 7-Eleven. Give me a hot dog. Come here, babe. Let's see what the wait time is. Only two of us. Open this door and stop playing games. Thank you. Appreciate it. If I could turn, turn back the hands of time, then my darling, you, you would be mine. Yeah, so we're at Cheddar's. We just finished eating our food and I showed you guys some of the food that we had before I go. I look really weird right now. From Miami. There goes Mr. B Charm. What were you saying now? Something about a shadow. I don't remember. I'm hungry and tired. I mean I'm full and tired. <laughs> How about saying to just eat? We're waiting on our dessert. We ordered the um cookie monster. And you ordered the good. cookie monster. You're not gonna eat some? You're gonna eat some. You should keep, you should keep me. Whoa, wow, wow, wow. Should one have to go on suffering? Yeah, we left Cheddar's, so we're on our way home now. I'm freaking full. I'm so freaking full, it's unbelievable. And I didn't even start any homework today, you know. No homework, and normally homework takes me all day. So now I gotta go home after eight o'clock and do homework. And before we left the house today to go see the movie, I said to myself, we have to get home, I have to be home again, at least by seven so that I can get five hours in for work. Cause I have two quizzes to do. And I have one full long assignment that I'm supposed to write up. So now it's gonna be less than four hours that I have to do all this stuff. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna pray before I begin my work and hopefully all will be well. Mr. Beecher, on the other hand, his homework is never finished, so. I don't know, what does that even mean? What does it mean to be finished with homework? Like, But I mean, at some point in life, it has to be turned in. You're gonna have to hold this now, because I'm driving. All right, so there's something due every single week, and I'm taking, well, I'm only taking two classes. But there's something due every week. So Wednesday something's due, Thursday something is due, right? And I work full time. So it's kind of like from Saturday is the Sabbath. So don't really, I go to church, so there's no real time to do homework, right? And Wednesday night and Thursday night are classes. It's confusing, but follow, follow along here, right? <laughs> so follow Wednesday... Me, follow me, my dog bites you. <laughs> So the only time I really have time to do homework is Sunday and then Monday evening or uh, Tuesday evening which one homework takes like the entire day literally about 12 hours because it's not just a homework you have to study That's what I hate it's like people think okay well why every time the weekend come around you got homework every weekend like can't you do it before time it's not about the homework it's the fact that you have to study these long chapters before you actually do the assignment and then to study those long chapters it takes legit like five days to do <laughs> to study these chapters why well, i look so light like shining on me wrong anyway those who are doing the same things that we're doing but they have kids can you imagine doing everything that we do with like two children running around something would have to give i'd probably have to something give the kids give. so i can get my work done <laughs> Uh, what about school? 
I would have to give up the kids so that I could get my work done. Tripping. One of the, one of the three, one of the things will have to go. This is your turn right here, baby. Okay, one of the things will have to go. I can't give you up because you know I need you. <laughs> <laughs> I need you too, baby. Shut up. <laughs> And you know, I need to be able to do my schoolwork because I need my degree so I can make more money. But then I'm gonna have the kids running around, so you know, so I ain't gonna have to give. So I mean, I, mean kids, I have a degree, it's just not good enough. <laughs> so I gotta go back and get another one. But yeah, yeah, we'll see y'all back at the house. We'll close out the vlog with y'all later. All right, then, cool. You put it, put it now. Put in there, you got boyfriend? You got boyfriend? That's racist. <laughs> I'm mimicking real stuff. I'm not being racist. You need boyfriend. I go find you boyfriend, okay? You go pay me? I know I days of 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 days of